Alright. Let's leave the club for now. Consult the map. Well, we want to find the professor, which means that we need to go here to the quarantine zone. And it seems there's a couple of stores on the way, so let's check those out too. There's actually nothing down there except for a bunch of people hanging around. Bums or something? I don't know. And Vorcha. Great. We haven't met any Vorcha in, in Mass Effect 1. Oh yeah. Uh, Miranda wears heels, even in combat. That's really, really uh, useful. These are uh, Vorgia. Not the brightest of folk. We'll be seeing a lot of them, unfortunately. And killing most of them. Talking about. The first contact war, but refused to pay interest. Leave your man. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borja on Omega. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Well, if I stop to, to listen to the news every single time, we'll be here um, all week. So I'm just going to move on, if you don't mind. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to? Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. A store? Run by a Quarian, it seems. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Most of the shops, you get an option to... Uh, try and uh, get a discount, either using Paragon or Renegade options. Good for you. Um, I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word if it's a Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What well, money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Um, you can actually pay for him, but um, it's better in terms of XP and money to um, deal with Harrod first, and then pay his way, if you want. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Another reason why you don't want to immediately um, pay his way off 
is that the discount we just uh, negotiated is only good as long as he's here. So if he leaves and you use the terminal then, you don't get the discount. Um, well, it seems we can uh, buy some things. Ah, the FBA couplings that uh, Ken and Gabby were looking for. They're quite cheap, so let's buy them. That's two of the uh, items we need for the Normandy crew taken care of. All we need now is uh, Gardner's food supplies. Well, we got some credits. Let's buy some of this stuff. There's very, um, there's much less than you can actually uh, than you, that you can buy than in uh, Mass Effect One, and unlike. In Mass Effect 1, it's not the case that it's all stuff that you can basically find elsewhere by just opening crates. So there's much more reason to actually buy this stuff. And like I said, credits are much harder to come by. So especially when you're doing this, uh, playing this game for the first time, when you don't get all the bonuses at the start, you may not have enough money to actually buy everything. So you might want to... Uh, be a bit more careful about what you do and don't buy, and where what you think is important to buy or not. Um, I think I should be able to buy most everything by the end of the game. At the moment I have enough credits for this anyway. Heavy weapon ammo is um, something you can also get from research. Uh, we already found an upgrade on uh, <coughs> Freedom's Progress for that. But we can't use that one yet, because we need to recruit Morden before we can use the research upgrades. But if you buy them here, you can get them immediately. Description, description is the same every time. So let's buy that. Now what's this? Yeah, it's random. I bought something stuff. Um, heavy skin weave. Shepard gets 10% extra health. Strong synthetic fibers can be woven through the skin, dramatically reducing damage taken from most attacks. These fibers also act as a metagel conduit, improving healing. Of course, this extra health. Useful. Always useful. Oh, this is expensive. Shotgun damage. I'm not using a shotgun, but it also uh, works for the rest of the squad. Increases damage by 10%. Improves shotguns, heavy shotguns, and assault shotguns for your entire squad. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the mass and acceleration of each round fired. Ah, uh, well, why not? Now, what's this? We'll see when we run out of money. Say that the and I got a journal update for the FBA couplings that we just got. Let's see, where does this lead? Oh, yeah, right. This leads back to the entrance of Afterlife, so that's actually not where we want to go right now. I think I want tickets. Uh, where's this Herod fellow that we need to talk to? Well, I suppose we can check out this store first. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Well, he actually seems kind of nice for a Batarian. Um, let's see. We can buy stimulator conduits. Incorporates a series of beryllium and tungsten braces and micro servos to support and enhance the natural movements of the wearers for short periods of time. 
Originally developed by the Serta Foundation for Search and Rescue Personnel, it has been adapted for military use. Increased storm speed by 10%. This is an armor um, customization that you have to uh, go to the um, armor locker in your quarters to apply to do that, and I, uh, I'll probably forget, but anyway. And a model that we can also um, buy, which will uh, show up in our quarters. A model Turin Cruiser. Oh, that would be nice to have. A sniper rifle damage upgrade, similar to the uh, shotgun damage upgrade. In fact, the description is also pretty much the same. Only this one applies to sniper rifles. Well, we can still afford it, so... I'll take it. Fornax. Titillating alien magazine. Four credits. It's apparently alien porn. All um, that buying it does is give you a codex entry about it. It doesn't actually let you see the inside of the magazine. And I think we should be glad for that. Also, don't Google Fornax. Or at the very least, have safe search on when you do it. Alright. We've uh, managed to uh, clean him out. Ah, there's Harrod. Another view here. <coughs> Let's see what Harrod has to say for himself about that Quarian. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Is he smoking a cigar? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. He is smoking a cigar. That is simultaneously the coolest and most hilarious thing I have ever seen. Um, the Renegade option basically gets him to uh, take over the Quarian shop. That means the Quarian will be gone. But on the plus side, any um, discounts you negotiate with Herod will then also apply with the shop downstairs. But of course, I'm a nice guy and uh, I like Quarians, so... What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly. Salvaged parts. All kinds, mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I do like the fact that they use this kiosk interface because having to go through the dialogue options to see... Um, the inventory of a store every time you wanted to buy something was kind of annoying in Mass Effect 1. This saves some time. We're talking about Mindwar! That was the news item about Caden again. Let's see. Um, a visor developed by Ariaka Technologies. The wearer ex exchanges full protective coverage for visibility, unencumbered mobility, and increased accuracy. Increases headshot damage by 10%. Now, while that is nice, I think most of these visors just look silly. I'm not going to wear them. Therefore, there's not really any point in buying them, wasting money on them. So, we'll uh, leave that be. A GAF ship model for our uh, quarters, that would be nice though. A small ship model of a GAF cruiser, typical of the kind involved in the Battle of the Citadel. 
like uh, also like the one we threw off a tower in uh, on Pharos. So we'll buy that. Capacitor chest plate. Micro wells developed by Armax Arsenal. Store part of the energy directed at the armor and use it to jumpstart the kinetic barrier recharge cycle. Reduces the delay before your shield start regenerator, regenerating by 10%. That sounds useful. And last is a hack model module. Omni tool upgrade. Doubles the time limit for hack. In the ongoing war between security software companies and hackers, Cerberus seeks to maintain a list of primary backdoors, little-known security holes that have been active some time and remain unpatched. Ongoing research in this area should improve Operative's ability to hack through most conventional security measures. Why is he selling it if it's, it's something to do with Cerberus? Uh, and I'm not going to buy this because it is quite expensive and I don't think I've ever actually failed a hack because I'm running out of time. So, I don't see any point in buying it. That would have been useful for the old Mass Effect 1 minigame, where I did sometimes run out of time, but for the ones here, I really don't need the uh, extra time. I think they were talking about Archangel. What's up there? VIP only. Well, I'm an important person, so... What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Okay, but well, I'm Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, a hero of the Skillian Blitz, and you don't care, do you? What do you want? I don't want anything at all. Check out Afterlife's main floor. You'll like it. Apparently, if you try to use the door, you also talk to him. Well, I'm sure that door is not there for nothing, so... Dating services. Um, we've been here, haven't we? Yes, I've lost my way. Um, actually, we do want to go here. you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. And now that we've done that, we can uh, pay for him if you want. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. True, but, um, well, hopefully you'll have learned something from this and won't, uh, will be a bit more careful in the future. Should give him a chance. After all, um, we know how difficult it can be for uh, Quarians out here. They're not exactly trusted. And Omega is worse than most places, so let's try and help him. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. The government is considering further reparations to Yay! I do, I do think that costs uh, a thousand credits. Must be sure to tell Tali about that if we ever see her again. Um, let's see. Where do I actually want to go? This way. 
A mad prophet. You replied on galactic purity. You said you are a blight. You and you and you and especially you. Protheans cast off the lesser races, the Krogan, the Vorja, and the humans. And so they dwelled in filth, on worlds made of dirt, of feces. And there they lay until they stumbled into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Let none in my sight continue to live, lest their impurity displease me. The word is clear on this, friends. Humans are the hands of the Reapers, here to commit the galaxy to ruin! You're crazy. Be gone! I cast you out into the cold black. I name you unclean. Bring unto me the children. I may watch them grow. Soldiers for the cause. Way is clear, my friends. Draw your weapons for the word. Or face its terrible wrath! I don't think I like you very much. The end times will come, not with a bang, but with a sigh. Those who dip their extremities in the well of sin and vice must repent with fire, oil, and gun. Let not fleshy friendships and, and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience! And on this great station, you shall be rejected, and the lesser races given their places in heaven. And this shall be the beginning of the end. The end times are upon us. Repent and restore your souls to glory. Humans are blight on galactic purity. You, sir. Why are you listening to this guy? Don't you have better things to do? And down here, I think, is the Quarantine District. Which is where we need to go. Oh, and there's also a door. Private residence. Access denied. Okay. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. Plague has the whole zone quarantine. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let's see what he knows. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And... Well... Then I shoot you. It affects multiple species. Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. That's interesting. An airborne disease that takes down both Levo and Dextro amino acid based races? That sounds a bit uh, too vir virulent to just be random. 
Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. Plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Okay. Uh, let's hope we didn't. To be honest, sounds like the kind of thing that Cerberus would do. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's try and, uh, persuade him to let us in. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Yes, that does work in our favor, doesn't it? Well, since we picked up a new squad mate, I suppose we um, should uh, put him to some use. Zaid, who apparently currently only has concussive shot. He also has an ammo power, like uh, uh, like Jacob, but a different one. He has disruptor ammo, which works very well against shields. And he uses assault rifles and sniper rifles. Okay, so we'll use him. And... Well, since I'm the tech specialist and Miranda's biotic tech... I guess we'll take Jacob, who is biotic soldier. Um... Wait, I've already seen that. We've... No more points for Jacob, of course, but... Zaid is new. He has Concussive Shot, a soldier talent. A massive blast that propels enemies with bone-crushing force. Basically works similar to uh, my incendiary blast in that it travels in a corner. At least it does if you have it. Uh, most of these powers, when the squad mates use them, are instant hit and require line of sight. Much like uh, my overload talent. But uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's true for Concussive Shot. I know it's true for Incinerate. And if we purchase another rank in that, we can unlock Disruptor Ammo. I think we'll uh, just follow the uh, normal uh, course of action there and <laughs> give him two and everything, just like the other two uh, squad mates that we have so far. We'll have to decide how to specialize later on. Disruptor ammo rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. Not all that useful in this particular mission, I think. And Mercenary Veteran is his um, passive talent. Increases Zaid's weapon damage and health. And Inferno Grenade is the one we uh, can unlock by doing that one mission he told us about. But we haven't done that yet, so we can't. And I don't think we have any weapons for him to pick either, so he's just going to use the M8 Avenger Assault Rifle and the M92A Mantis Sniper Rifle. 